Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to be doing the setup. So I just did a video, I unboxed it, I went over all the dimensions of it, how to put it together. This video, I'm gonna show you how to set it up before we do our first espresso shot. This is the Chefman Espresso Machine Barista Pro. I just bought it at Walmart, it cost $129. Model number RJ54-V2. Okay, so they want us, we gotta wash everything first. I'm gonna show you what parts need to be washed. You're gonna take this milk frother off. We're gonna take it apart. We're gonna wash this separately. This pulls out from the milk frother. And then on this, this, this metal thing pulls off of this. So we're gonna... So let's first give all this, the, the drip tray, the milk frother, the portafilter, the filter, this, the milk frother, the water reservoir. Give all these a good rinsing and washing with some just some soap and dry them off. I did find some manufacturing stuff kind of there was some stuff in this tube so make sure you get all this stuff nice and clean okay so let's put this stuff back together let's grab this piece this just there's kind of an indentation on one side it just yeah it just pokes on and then this you insert this into this like there's an o-ring right there so you can turn it now then we've got this big tube Make sure it's in all the way. Then we're gonna put it in the milk frother. That rubber tube goes in, that sticks out like that. Next, we're gonna prime the unit before first use. We're gonna fill the water reservoir with water. Okay, I've got the water reservoir filled up. There is a max line right here, so don't fill it all the way to the top. And it just slides on there. There's like these slides. And when you get it, you'll get a couple bubbles out and then it's kind of held on there. A little tricky. And again, I have not turned the machine on or plugged it in yet. So make sure you leave it off before, while we're doing all this. Okay, next, the milk frother. You're gonna fill it with water. We gotta fill it with water first. Eventually we're gonna dump this water out and put milk in it, but fill it up to the max line with just fresh water. That's gonna help prime the pump. So make sure you got all the parts to the milk frother back on against that, fl that flexible hose. We've got this. And then this is gonna insert. There's a place back there. It's a little tricky. Gotta kinda hold the machine. It talks about, well, it just doesn't want, it gives you kind of a direction. Tilt up and pull frother. What I found is, is this back part needs to be down more. So you gotta kinda of hold the back down and then it seems to go in there just a little, nope. So after you mess with it, then you gotta line that up. Then it will go in and kinda of snap in. So again, make sure you've got the milk. That was kinda of tricky. I don't, I don't, I didn't like that actually. That should have went in a lot easier than it did. Next, we're gonna to need to get a container that's gonna, you can hold hot water in and put this frothing, um, direct that into the cup and it's gotta be right underneath there. Okay, so they're gonna want, they're gonna, we're gonna put the porta filter in, so f put one of these in, either the, I'm gonna be using the two cup, so just put the two cup in, make sure there's nothing in it. Start over here, it should kind of, whenever you've got it right, it should just go straight up. So right there, it goes up, and then turn it to the lock position. Then put your container underneath there. Now we're gonna hit this power button. It stays in when we turn it on. And then the display lights up. So this is a like a touch screen. It says tap the double, the double, so the cappuccino's right here, the double cappuccino's right here. So if you press it, everything else goes away and then it starts flashing. This is gonna prime the pumps. You are gonna get quite a bit of steam and it is a little noisy. First it's gonna prime this and then it's gonna send some water through the porta filter. So now we're getting some water out of the espresso side. It's a little loud at first.
Okay. So that took a little bit. We got quite a bit of water out, about four and a half ounces. Okay, so it says your unit is now primed and ready to be used. So check out my next video. I'm gonna be actually making some espresso with it, cappuccinos and lattes. Thanks everybody for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe.